For today's review, we have the new 2020 model, reference 126610LV. Like its namesake, the Rolex Kermit comes with a bright green bezel combined with a black dial. Although it's not as popular as the other Submariner colorways, the Kermit has an interesting story behind it. First off, you might be wondering why Rolex chose an unusual color for the new 2020 model. Especially considering that green is not a safe color, and it's very hard to pair with other pieces of your outfit. So why did Rolex choose the color green? It turns out the color green means a lot to Rolex. Indeed, they have used this color for their watch boxes, hang tags, and even their logo. Thanks to its unusual color, the Rolex Kermit has become one of the most sought-after pieces in the lineup. Now let's take a more detailed look at the case. You'll see that it's a bit bigger in size than the other classic Submariner models. Its diameter is 41mm and its lug width is 21mm. This is 1mm bigger than its direct predecessor, the Rolex Kermit Anniversary model. But it's good news for a lot of people, since it is considered a sweet spot when it comes to sizes. Furthermore, it is only about 13mm thick, which makes it comfortable for a lot of people. In terms of durability, you don't have to worry, as it's made with 904L steel construction that can handle a few bumps. As for the dial, the 2020 Rolex Kermit model features a maxi dial. This type of dial sports larger hands and indexes that are similar to the Yacht Master in 1991. To divers, this was a welcome upgrade, as it improves legibility even when underwater. Apart from the size of the indexes and hands, you'll see the typical design of the Submariner. The 2020 Rolex Kermit is a date model, meaning it has a date window beside 3 o'clock along with the iconic Cyclops on top of it. Furthermore, it uses round indexes as its hour markers, except for 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock. Meanwhile, the hands feature a Mercedes style. On top of the dial is a sapphire crystal that protects it from scratches. This will give you enough peace of mind not to worry about scratching your grail watch. While the dial and case are nothing out of the ordinary, the bezel is where Rolex Kermit stands out. Its ceramic bezel sports a darker shade of green that's very similar to the character that it's nicknamed after. Functionality-wise, the bezel is unidirectional, which is a standard for dive watches. Moreover, it has 120 clicks and is firm and smooth to rotate. When it comes to its engine, you can expect the same quality craftsmanship from other Rolex models. It runs on an in-house caliber 3235 automatic movement. It is a Swiss chronometer certified by the COSC and is tested again by Rolex to make sure it passes their superlative chronometer standard. This means that the watch averages an accuracy rating of plus or minus 2 seconds per day. Now as for the bracelet, just like the case, the Rolex Kermit's bracelet is made with 904L steel. That being said, it can survive years of use and still be fine. It also features the Rolex Glidelock extension system, which allows easy adjustments in 2mm increments. This system is for divers who need to secure their watch over a diving suit. Athletics-wise, the Rolex logo is stamped on a clasp just like the other models. Now, the real question is, is the Rolex Kermit right for you? The answer to this question depends on your needs, your style, and your affinity for the brand. For instance, if you're looking for your first watch, then it might be better for you to skip this one and go for the more versatile black Submariner instead. The Kermit's bright green bezel is not versatile enough to be worn every day. On the other hand, if you're a long-time collector looking to complete the Submariner lineup, then I'm sure this watch will make you happy. Do let us know if there are specific models you would like to see us review in the comments below. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.